वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 3.47 पॉइंट फोर सेवन सो स्टेटमेंट इज द डिज़ाइन स्पेसिफिकेशन ऑफ टू मीटर लॉन्ग सॉलिड सर्कुलर ट्रांसमिशन शॉफ्ट रिक्वायर दैट एंगल ऑफ ट्विस्ट ऑफ शॉफ्ट नॉट एक्सीड थ्री डिग्री एंड अ टॉर्क ऑफ नाइन किलो न्यूटन इंटू मीटर इज अप्लाइड डिटरमाइन द रिक्वायर्ड डायमीटर ऑफ शॉफ्ट नोविंग दैट द शॉफ्ट इज मेड अब ऑफ ए स्टील विद अलावेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस ऑफ नाइन्टी मेगा पासकल एंड मॉडुलस ऑफ रिजिडिटी सेवेंटी सेवन गेगा पासकल एंड बी determine the required diameter of shaft that is made up of bronze with allowable shearing stress of 35 megapascal and modulus of the rigidities 42 mega gigapascal so we will find uh, the diameter of the shaft this is the frontal view of the shaft the total length of this shaft is given as 2 meter so length is 2 meter okay so first we know that we have given the angle of twist theta is e should be 3 degree and it should not greater than 3 so we know that 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree so 1 degree is equal to 2 pi radian over 360 which is equal to pi by 180 radian so again when you multiply this is 3 into 1 degree so 3 multiply by pi divided by 180 degree 180 radian so we will convert we will get this theta will be equal to 52.360 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian again in question we have given torque which is given which is 9 kilo newton so 9 into 10 to the power 3 Newton into meter and length is given as two meter. So what we will do is that we will we know that angle of twist is equal to T into L divided by G into J. So this will be equal to torque into length divided by G and J for solid circular shaft of radius C is pi by two C power four. so from here you can get this c4 will be equal to 2tl divided by g into pi into theta and this is the radius based on based on angle of twist you can also find the radius by using Uh, max, maximum shearing stress or shearing stress due to torsion so the the formula is t into c divided by j or you can see t into c c is radius divided by j for solid circular shaft of having radius c is pi by 2 c power 4 so from here you will get this c will cut with one of this c so we will have maximum shearing stress or shearing stress is 2 t divided by pi c cube and from here you will get c cube is equal to 2 times t divided by pi into tau and this c is based on this is based on allowable shearing stress shear stress now we have both the formulas for finding the diameter so what we will do is that first we will calculate for steel shaft so steel shaft okay so based on angle of twist based on angle of twist we have radius formula is this one which is c power 4 is equal to 2 times t into l divided by g pi into theta so put the value 2 torque is 9 uh 9 kN so 9 into 10 to the power 3 multiply by length is 2 g for steel is 77 gigapascal so 77 into 10 to the power 9 multiply by pi 
multiply by theta which we have calculated 52.60360 into 10 to the power minus 3. So when you calculate this c power 4 will come out to be 2.842 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter power 4. And if you take the fourth root by using the calculator, so you will get C will be equal to 41.06 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter or that is 41.06 millimeter. So this is, this C is 41.06 millimeter and we know that diameter is equal to 2 times c so 2 multiplied by this is 41 41.06 will be equal to 82.1 millimeter so based on angle of twist we have diameter is 82.1 millimeter now what we will do is that we will also find the diameter based on allowable sharing stress. So formula is shown over here c power 3 is equal to 2t divided by pi into tau. So 2 multiplied by t is 9 kN so 9 into 10 to the power 3 divided by pi and allowable sharing stress for steel is 90 megapascal. So pi into 90 multiplied by 10 to the power 6. And you will get C power 3 will be equal to 63.662 into 10 to the power minus 6 cubic meter. And when you take cubic root on both sides, you will get C will be equal to 39.93 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter or that will be 39.93 millimeter. So obviously we know that diameter is equal to 2 times C. So 2 multiplied by 39.93 will be equal to 79.9 millimeter. So D is equal to 79.9 millimeter. Now you have two diameters. One is based on uh, angle of twist and this one is based on allowable sharing stress. So what we will do is that required, we have to select one value. So required value of D will be, or D is, 82.1 millimeter which is the largest one why because it will be the safer design now we will move towards second part that is we have to perform the same for bronze to design this shaft so based on first we will based on angle of twist So again you can see this is the formula c power 4 is equal to 2 t l divided by g pi into theta so 2 torque is 9 kN 9 into 10 to the power 3 length is 2 meter divided by g for bronze is 42 and tie allowable is this one so 42 into 10 to the power 9 multiply by pi multiply by theta is 53 2.36 into 10 to the power minus 3 so you will get c power 4 will be equal to 5.210 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter power 4 again if you take the fourth root of on both side so from here you will get c will be equal to 47.78 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter or that will be 47.78 millimeter. Okay. 
so d is equal to 2 times c so 2 multiplied by 47.78 will be equal to 95.6 millimeter so d is 95.6 millimeter okay so this is based on angle of twist now we'll move toward next page so based on allowable sharing stress and the formula is c power 3 is equal to 2 times t divided by pi into tau so put the value 2 multiply by t torque is 9 kN, so 9 into 10 to the power 3 divided by pi into allowable sharing stress is 35 mega pascal so 35 into 10 to the power 6 and you will get 163.70 into 10 to the power minus 6 cubic meter if you take cubic root on both sides you will get c will be equal to 54.70 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter and that will be equal to 54.70 millimeter so from here you will get the diameter we know diameter is two time radius so 2 multiply by 54.70 will be equal to 109.4 millimeter and this is the diameter based on allowable sharing stress so in our previous 95.6 is based on angle of twist and here d is 109 so select select d is equal to 109.4 millimeter for the bronze steel uh, sorry bronze shaft and that was all about this problem 3.47 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.